Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday uh, or Tuesday for those of you who are on the other side of the world. Um, interesting energies happening. I guess interesting is the word. It's really, I know that it's heavy. Um, a lot of you are feeling a, a lot of pressure. And that's coming from, we had um, an exact square or a exact opposition between Mercury and Uranus yesterday. It actually happened last night. Um, and uh, the sun is also squaring Saturn. And with both of these at the same time, because they're very uncomfortable relationships that the planets can have with each other, like the bearing down of responsibility right now is heavy. So <clears throat> I want you to remind yourself during this, like it's a really good time to actually get stuff done. Like if you really need to get stuff done or you're feeling the urge to get stuff done, um, do it. Like now is the time, right? But you have to be very cautious because, um, as you're getting stuff done or as you're doing things, if you if it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to, or there are blockages that are happening, or does you know, I mean, like you have to switch your plans or something like that, this energy can you can get very irritable. You can be very hard on yourself, you can be very hard on other people. Um, we also have some aspects with the moon. So the moon is squaring Mercury, the moon is squaring Uranus, and the moon is sextiling Chiron. Um, and Mars is still opposite Chiron. It's moving away from it, but um, that Chiron with the moon and Mars is very healing. So when these deep wounds come up of, be, of needing to be responsible or feeling like you need to be more responsible or something, right, there's something... Sorry, I'm get, I, I have a cold. <laughs> and I like had started battling it yesterday and I was actually feeling a lot better last night and then I woke up this morning and here we are. Um, welcome to fall. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so um, all of the deep wounds that you have below the surface that you refuse to show could really come out right now and it could come out in like, strong conversations with people, um, you know, just be very consciously aware of how you're presenting yourself to other people. Um, if you feel like you need to be alone and sit with your thoughts, that's fine. But if you need to be alone and sit with your thoughts and try to figure out, I, I want you to do it in a hermit kind of way where you're getting down to the root of the problem. Like, I don't want you to sit by yourself in like, woe is me, in the dark, and beating yourself up and telling yourself how you're not good enough and all the things, right? Um, because now is a time that it could very easily come out that if you know that you have to get something done and you're not, you don't do it or you ignore it or you procrastinate on it. Procrastination right now, if you are procrastinating on anything, this energy is going to be bearing down on you very, very hard. So my suggestion is try not to procrastinate. Lots of self-care. And when I say self-care, I don't mean just like soak in a bath. I mean, Get up, uh, take a walk, go breathe in some fresh air, um, commune with God is what I like to call it, right? Um, get quiet, do some meditation. Um, speaking of meditations, last night's self-love and self-empowerment meditation was amazing. I even, I really needed it as well. So um, it just gets, so I love, I love the energy of our meditation and Reiki healing circles because it is just so powerful and it's so healing. And I love that I can like transmit my, you know, transmit the Reiki energy through myself into you guys and um, we can all feel the love together. So if you wanna be a part of the next one, it's actually gonna be the Aries full moon ritual. And this is gonna be an amazing full moon. It will be very, very powerful. 
um, where the Pisces full moon was about healing. The Aries full moon is going to be more about um, becoming empowered within yourself and really be in, in learning how to be brave and, and releasing the um, negativity and the scared person inside, right? So that is actually the full moon lands on a Sunday. So it's going to be at the same time next Sunday. The link to sign up for all of the meditations and the Reiki healing circles is in the description box below. Um, also, I had the um, self-alignment workshop. It was, um, I'll call it a revamped. It's, it's different than any of the other self-alignment workshops I've done. Um, it, it was amazing. It was so that we had that on Saturday and I just, I could, I'm, I'm still like just so full of joy and happiness from how it was just smooth and, um, we got a lot out of it and I loved being able to commune with everybody. Um, it was fantastic. So, um, if you would like to join for the next one, it will be on a Monday evening this time. So Monday, it'll be 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That information is also in the description box um, for the link to that workshop. And I'll be doing one more after that one, um, I think. I think I'll be doing one more. I'm not sure. Um, that might be the last one I do. It kind of depends on the scheduling and, and, and how all that happens. Speaking of also with readings, um, I have like 10 spots left for the six month 2020 forecasts. Um, if you pre-order within these 10 spots, you will be scheduled the first two weeks in November. So you'll get your reading early and you will also get a bonus of December 2019. So you're really getting seven months forecast and not just six. So the information to, to sign up from one of those last, I think there's like 10 or 11 spots left. Um, for the first two weeks in November, um, the link is in the description box below. And for everybody who joined me on Saturday for the self-alignment workshop, um, thank you so much for all of your support, all of your love. It was really amazing. And I know that they, I know that, that, um, it's a really hard time right now. Um, you're really being pushed to allow yourself to, to create in, in ways that you probably aren't familiar with, right? It's like, it's like the changing of the guards, the changing of the seasons, the changing of the guards. There's, there's a new type of energy and really allowing yourself. One of the things that we, we talked about with the self-alignment workshop is empowering yourself and allowing yourself to believe that you deserve to feel good every day no matter what situation you're in. And that's exactly the way that you're going to manifest the lifestyle that you want or manifest, you know, I mean, some people want to manifest a lifestyle where they have all of the things, right? But they, they want to be comfortable. Like when I say all of the things, I mean the big house, the car, the job, the family, all of that stuff but they know that there's, they're missing something within themselves first, and that's what the self-alignment course workshop will help with, right? Um, then there are those people, and neither way is right or wrong. Then there are those people that the Ten of Pentacles lifestyle to them is, is not the big house and the big car and the fancy car and the big job and the fanciness and all of that stuff. Some people um, have a more minimalist or, it, you know, a... Um, it, I don't like to use the word simple because people put it in a negative connotation, but when I say simple or minimalist or um, something like that, it's just, you know, they don't have a desire to have all of the things. And again, neither situation is right or wrong. You can have a desire to have all the things and want to work towards that, but you cannot let it define you. And you can be a minimalist and have a very and lead a very simple life and not have a lot of stuff going on, but you cannot let it define you. It doesn't matter what the Ten of Pentacles looks like to you. What matters is that you have a desire for yourself to create whatever the Ten of Pentacles want you want the Ten of Pentacles to look like. And you also have to remember that this Ten of Pentacles is going to be for your highest good. 
you know? So, <clears throat> building that inner strength and not allowing anyone else to tell you what that inner strength looks like or what that Ten of Pentacles looks like or how you're supposed to feel. And a lot of that has to do with, um, you know, the reason why we feel the pressure of the energy right now, because, I mean, I got to be honest, yes, I can feel the intensity. I can tell that, that there's something going on. I can tell that there's this heavy weight weighing on a lot of people. Um, I'm very intuitive like that. I can feel the energy, but I'm not allowing it to get to me. And some of the energies can creep in a little bit easier than usual. But when you have come to, and it's so interesting because I had this conversation yesterday, um, when you come to a peaceful existence within yourself and you know that everything is happening for your highest good and you know that the path that you're on right now is leading you to abundance just because you have faith in knowing it, it's so, it, you, can, you can get through this kind of energy without feeling like you're not doing enough or without feeling like you're not, um, you, you, that you have to push yourself to be successful in some way, shape or form, right? I know, it's funny because this morning, um, because I woke up with my cold kind of rearing its ugly head, I thought, thought I'd got, gotten rid of it, but I woke up this morning and I was like, oh man, here we go. The first signs of the season showing up. And um, I know it's not going to be a bad one. I think that it'll probably pretty be pretty easy. I mean, I'm just thinking optimistically, right? I don't think that it's going to be a really bad cold. But I thought, oh, do I should I cancel things today? And the way the energy, I, the way that I am letting the energy work for me is to give me that extra boost of energy to, to get through the day and to not push myself to be very kind and gentle with myself today. Um, that's why I showed up with no makeup on. Like this is, you're getting me today and that's it. I mean, you get me every day, but you're getting me, you know, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not going to extend any extra energy that I don't need to, to get the job done. And that's how you need to let this, this energy work for you. It could be very, very easy to not see the blessings within everything that's going on right now. And if you... Eight of Swords, if you are in the Eight of Swords, see how, yes, she's blindfolded. I like to call her Blindfolded Sally. <laughs> I don't know why. And for anybody who's named Sally, I'm, it's not like a negative thing. I don't know why I call her that. Um, but this, the, this Eight of Swords is an imprisonment of your own mind. And the way to get out of that is by Four of Swords. Take some of those swords away and take a nap. I literally wanted to say take a nap, cranky pants. So some of you are really, really cranky today. And if you have to rest, if you have to pull yourself away from the world, I mean, like, of course, do, do your responsibilities, go to your job, all the things, right? But if you get a moment or an opportunity to yourself today, I really, really, really want you to do that because I feel like a lot of you are healing from either a relationship or the past. There is a wound that some of you are holding on to from the past, and it could be several wounds, and, and it all really is defining how you see yourself. The Empress, thank you very much. It's defining how you're seeing yourself and it's defining your path. And, and this is the issue. Okay. So let's see what the Empress says. Let's clarify the Empress. Sitting pretty over there thinking that she owns the world. She does. The Empress does own the world. I'm going to take a drink.
there's such a freedom and a peacefulness when you stop allowing your external world to trigger you. When you stop, when you start to realize that not everything is personal and that life isn't just, you're not, you're not just in existence to be miserable, that you can feel good in any moment, in any opportunity. Like I, I am just amazed when I wake up in the morning and I just feel at peace. There are days that are harder than others, but we're all human, you know? And, and so that's the, it's the time. This energy is shifting a lot of us into realizing where we put way too much pressure on ourselves. And that we can be in an empress type energy. So I have the wheel of fortune and judgment on the empress. And we can, the universe is literally saying, like with judgment right here, you're being supported in this energetic shift. And if you feel like nothing is right and everything is wrong right now, you have to ask yourself why. And when you ask yourself why, if the answer is something where you're beating yourself up, yes, you have to take responsibility for your actions, but the way you take responsibility for your actions is you don't do it again. What is not working for you, if you continue to keep doing what's not working for you, that's how you're sabotaging yourself. So this energy of feeling like um, you have to take responsibility for yourself, sun, square, Saturn, shining light on where you need to take responsibility, it has absolutely nothing to do with what you've already done in your life. It has everything to do with how you're going to change the things that are no longer working for you. And a lot of that has to do with the thought process. And in the self-alignment course, we flip the switch on the thought process. We allow ourselves to be much more open and expansive. But <coughs> if you're only doing it for the money, <clears throat> if you're only manifesting or you're only living life to get more and more and more and more and more, never satisfied with where you are, this Ten of Pentacles isn't going to mean a whole lot. But if you allow yourself to see just how strong you are on the inside, that Ten of Pentacles can mean so much more than it it ever did to you in your whole existence right so there definitely has to be a change a transformational process so the death card on the ten of pentacles it's like the ego death of the ten of pentacles the ego part of the Ten of Pentacles has to die in order for you to be <clears throat> pushed forward, in order for you to feel the inner strength, the inner peace, the inner... You're not in turmoil because you know and accept your path. You accept the journey, meaning, and that's, that's one of the biggest things being like appreciating where you are right now, which is another thing that we talk about and learn about in the self-alignment course, appreciating where you are right now and being where you are right now, instead of forcing yourself to be better or be bigger or whatever, be more, 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 instead of pushing and forcing you and your environment to be more than what it is, you appreciate it. And that doesn't mean that you're settling. The way you get more in life is to appreciate where you are right now. And that's what I feel like the strength card is trying to show you. You don't just have to look strong on the outside 
to get through life. See? Ten of Swords. It's so funny because this was the this card popped up in my mind when I was actually clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords popped up in my mind. There's a huge ego death that's happening right now with a lot of people. And it has to do directly with how hard you are on yourself. Because this energy is pushing you to be hard on yourself. And you have to recognize where you are pushing yourself too hard. You have to be consciously aware of it. And if you don't know that, then all you have to do is ask yourself, what's making you really, really uncomfortable right now? Maybe it's me. I've actually had somebody comment on a video and be like, you're the one that makes me uncomfortable. I've always said that I was placed here just to irritate people's demons so that they can heal. There's a lot of people that don't like me because of that. Me. It is what it is. So the, the thing that's got you in the Eight of Swords is how slow it's taking. The amount of time that it's taking for you to manifest things into your life is just killing you. The amount of time that it's taking for this energy shift to happen and for you to feel at peace and for you to feel like you're the in the Empress energy or for you to feel like you've got everything that you've ever wanted in life is taking forever to get here. That's that energy. Oh my God. So when am I going to feel like that, Betsy? I just want to feel like that right now. You can feel like that right now. It's very easy to feel like that right now. Having faith. Acceptance. Appreciation. And not allowing other people to get in your way. Um, the only way out of how you feel right now is through it. And if you shut yourself off, if you shut yourself down and you go numb, that's not feeling it. That's avoidance. And some people are addicted to avoidance. Why do you think AA exists? Right? Right? Some people turn to alcohol. Some people have that genetic makeup within themselves to feel like they need to use an outside substance to avoid. Some of us will just shut down and avoid things, right? The only way, six of swords on the four of swords, the only way through this, the only way to get through this how does it go again? The only way out is through. That's what I'm trying to say. The only way out of this feeling, this heavy, deep feeling, you just have to live through it. Some of you feel very stuck or feel very much like you can't go in any direction, no matter how hard you've tried going in any direction and you push and you push and you push and you push and you push. And so many, many of you um, feel like it's never going to happen. And, and for a lot of you, that feeling right there is blocking you from moving forward because you're not allowing yourself to feel good. Even if you don't like your job, even if you don't like um, where you live, you can find situations or you can, you, you can choose to put yourself into situations that lift your spirits, that lift your vibration. You can choose to do that or you can choose to avoid it and just sit in the miserable feeling, which is not going to manifest anything in your life. Sitting in a miserable feeling is only going to manifest more miserableness, right? Stop fighting for things. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The fight, you don't have to fight so hard. Like fighting, like pushing yourself and fighting to get things taken care of or get things done in your life or to get things moving in your life is only going to make it go back, like, 
you only got to go backwards. The more you push, that's resistance. Pushing to get something taken care of is resistance at its finest. The Three of Cups on the Six of Cups on the Star. Some of you are healing from a relationship right now, and I feel like the energy is shifting for you and you're finding stable ground, but it's taking a while. Some of you are healing from the past. Some of you um, have some friends that you really need to reach out to or you need to connect with in order to feel like you're a little bit more bonded. I feel like some of you just need to reach out. Um, or if people have been reaching out to you, please don't ignore them. Please don't ignore them. Because I feel like some of you actually need to have that um, connection in your lives right now. You know? So, um, heavy day, heavy energy. But, I mean, I'm going to use the cliche, this too shall pass. Because it, it will. And whenever we go through bouts of heavy energy like this, you have to remember the lessons that we're all learning within it. It's not just, you know, the universe just isn't here to make us feel miserable. The universe is pushing us to grow, to evolve every single day. So that's what I want you to recognize. I don't want you to sit in the energy and be like, Ugh, oh my God, this sucks. This energy sucks. You know, I mean, if you have to like pull the covers over your head and go back to bed, so be it. Then do that, right? Um, but I'll tell you, I, I guarantee it, the next time we have heavy energy like this, the same things that you're feeling that you're avoiding now are going to come back up, okay? So just remember to very much pay attention to what's coming up right now, the feelings, the anger, the, the, the heaviness, the um, pressure, the frustration, all of those things. There's a reason why it's happening and let it help you grow, okay? I love you guys. Um, don't forget to sign up for the self-alignment course. Don't forget to sign up for the Aries full moon and get your spot for the six-month forecast pre-order. Um, I love you guys. See you soon. Bye.